Welcome into episode six of Wrestling Jeopardy. I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. In this episode, we test your knowledge about the icon, the franchise of WCW, the Vigilante, even though I absolutely despise that nickname, the one, the only. Every single question plus Final Jeopardy will be about the man called Sting. You are going to love this. On your screen now are the not so extreme rules on how to play along. And just remember, play the game. So let's go to the board and check out the categories for this special Sting episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. First up, we have face paint. This is going to be a visual category. I'm going to show you a black and white photo of the Stinger, and you're going to have to tell me the colors of his face paint in the photo. Next up, we have factions. Sting was in plenty of stables, groups, factions, whatever you want to call it, in his time in WCW and in TNA. Followed by feuds. Sting has had a ton of memorable feuds over his 30 plus year career. Our fourth category is friends. Sting has also had plenty of good buddies during his career. And last but certainly not least, name that theme, our audio category for this episode, but it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna play one of Sting's entrance theme songs and you're gonna to have to name that Sting instead. So is it gonna be Surfer Sting, Crow Sting, WWE Sting, Joker Sting, AEW Sting, Sting and the Police? God, please no! Alrighty then. Let's go inside the squared circle of your mind and kick off the 200 point round. It's showtime. Starting off with face paint for 200, can you name these colors? Well, if you guessed the red and black of the NWO Wolfpack, then you would be absolutely correct. Ow! All right, moving on to factions for 200. When Sting joined WWE, a feud with The Undertaker never came to pass, as he was thrust instead into a feud with Triple H and this faction. Now, in the personal opinion of this wrestling fan, Sting vs. Triple H at WrestleMania 31 was definitely not best for business. But the correct answer, the faction, is the authority. And we're on to feuds for... 200, but first, I want to bring in a special guest to help me read this first clue. He hails from parts unknown, and more specifically, Sting's past. Bruh. You know him, you love him. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Black Scorpion. <laughs> Sting, remember, Starcade. 90, uh, you defeated me uh, in a steel cage and revealed my true identity. Who was I? <laughs> wow, what an honor to have the Black Scorpion on the show. And the correct answer we're looking for, who is Nature Boy Ric Flair? The Black Scorpion is Nature Boy Ric Flair! And by the way, RIP to the original voice of the Black Scorpion, Ole Anderson, who passed away recently. Here we go, friends, for 200. Out of all of Sting's tag partners, his team with this wrestler was the total package and garnered the most wins with 139. And the correct answer is none other than the total package, Lex Luger. All right, heading over to name that theme for 200. Listen to this Sting entrance theme song and then name that Sting. From Venice Beach, California, the correct answer is Surfer Sting. All right, five questions down, 20 to go, hopefully, you went five for five and got yourself a cool, crisp 1,000 points already. But now it's gonna get a little bit more difficult. We're going to the 400 point round, kicking it off with face paint. Take a look at this photo and tell me what the colors are. All 
Ah, yes, the good old red, white, and blue Sting from the 1990 Great American Bash when he won his first WCW world title by defeating the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. A new heavyweight champion of the world has been crowned! All right, here comes Factions for 400. TNA stumbled upon one of their greatest ideas when they formed this main event faction of former world champions led by the Stinger. And the correct answer is the Main Event Mafia. And we're on to the 400-point clue from Feuds. This great Japanese superstar brought out the best in Sting as the two feuded over the NWA television title. And the correct answer is the Great Muda. That brings us to Friends for 400. Sting joining AEW gave him the opportunity to form a mentoring partnership with this young daredevil. And the correct answer, Darby Allen. And on to the final clue of the 400 point round. Listen to this entrance theme song and then name that Sting. And speaking of Darby Allen, this is AEW Sting, one of the great theme songs that's been produced by Mikey Ruckus with this song, which is called Arrival. All right, that does it for the 400 point round. We're back to face paint for 600. Can you name these colors? Man, it's kind of a tough one. You know, he's starting to grow his hair out, so that's probably 94, 95 Sting. But these colors are orange and black. All right, here comes Factions for 600. The final major storyline attempt to turn the sinking ship around for WCW featured the New Blood feuding with this club. And the answer we're looking for, what is the Millionaire's Club? Brings us to feuds for 600. It was truly a clash of David versus Goliath whenever the Stinger would battle this super heavyweight Mastodon for the WCW World Heavyweight title. Where is this castle of fear anyway? And the correct answer is, who's the man? We're talking about Big Ban Bader. Who's the man? You're the man. <laughs> Here comes Friends for 600. Sting and the Ultimate Warrior both showed potential as major single stars when they teamed together under this moniker. And the correct answer is the Blade Runners. The Blade Runners! And finishing off the 600 point round, Listen to this entrance theme song and then name that Sting. A lot of people have kind of mixed reactions about uh, Joker Sting. Some liked him, some didn't. But the answer we're looking for, Joker Sting. All right, 15 questions down, 10 to go. Hope you're having fun so far. If you like this video and you're having a good time, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Let's go on to the 800 point round, starting off with face paint. Can you name these colors? Once again, another kind of tough one, but the answer we're looking for, black and turquoise. All right, factions for 800. Sting was a member of this short-lived stable of good guys who were formed to keep the Four Horsemen in check while he wrestled Ric Flair at the 1990 Great American Bash. And the answer is, who are the dudes with attitude? I'm talking about Sting, the Steiner Brothers, the Total Package, Lex Luger, the Junkyard Dog, my personal favorite wrestler of all time, Mr. Wonderful, Paul Lorndorff, and El Gigante. Which brings us to feuds for 800. 
When Sting and Cactus Jack feuded in the early 1990s, their battles would occasionally see the involvement of this madman from the Sudan. And the answer, who is Abdullah the Butcher? Wait a second! Th that's Abdullah the Butcher! On to Friendos for 800. WCW called the duo of Sting and Vampiro this name as a way of bonding the two into a makeshift team. And the answer, who were the brothers in paint? All right, closing out the 800 point round, listen to this entrance theme song and name that sting. Yes, against an army of shadows lies the dark warrior. We're talking about Crow Sting. All right, we're in the home stretch now, but here comes the most difficult round of this game show. We're talking about the thousand point round. The steel cage begins to lower. The ominous music starts to play. Strap on those thinking caps. Think about Sting's career and let's go. Starting off with face paint for 1000. Can you name these colors? All right, this is the first photo where I threw out three colors. We're looking for black, orange, and I guess I'd say turquoise, teal? I don't know! One of those colors? This is getting good, or maybe ugly. All right, we're on to the final clue in Factions for 1000. Sting began his career under the ring name Flash, and as a member of this all-American team of bodybuilders turned wrestlers. And the answer we're looking for, who was Power Team USA? Here comes the final feud for 1000. This wrestler suffered a career ending back injury after he took the full force of a springboard plancha by the Stinger in 1994. This unfortunate accident happened over in Japan when Sting was wrestling Ravishing Rick Rude. Moving on, friends, 1000. Sting's first ever championship happened when he won the UWF tag team titles with this second generation wrestler and leader of Hot Stuff and Hyatt International. I mean, I kind of gave it away there. The answer we're looking for, who is Hot Stuff? Eddie Gilbert, which once again, Hot Stuff was my nickname when I was growing up which gives me a reason to show this clip. Final clue on the board. Name that theme, listen to this song, and then name that sting. All right, process of elimination here. The name of the song, Out From The Shadows. Of course, Sting used that during his brief run in the E. Alrighty, start adding up those scores and let's see how you did. Was it good, bad, ugly? Well, like I always say, I'm not snapped, I just feel good. Now the big question on my mind is, are you gonna risk it all on Final Jeopardy? Did I hear somebody say, Campbell? Well, before you make your wagers, let's find out this episode's Final Jeopardy category. The Hall of Fame. Sting has received a plethora of awards and accomplishments throughout his career, but think closely about his Hall of Fame inductions. Okay, let's make those wagers. All right, time is up. Let's take a look now at the Final Jeopardy clue. In 2016, Sting became the first wrestler inducted into both the TNA and WWE Hall of Fames. The Nature Boy Ric Flair inducted Sting into the WWE Hall of Fame, but who inducted Sting 
into the TNA Hall of Fame. Good luck. In 2016, Sting became the first wrestler inducted into both the TNA and WWE Hall of Fames. The Nature Boy Ric Flair inducted Sting into the WWE Hall of Fame, who inducted Sting into the TNA Hall of Fame. Established in 2012 and created in celebration of the company's 10-year anniversary, Sting was inducted at the Bound for Glory pay-per-view by Dixie Carter. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Ta-ta! And that'll do it for episode six of Wrestling Jeopardy. Don't forget to leave a comment with your score. And if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing and giving this video a massive thumbs up. Thank you for watching as always. I've been your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>